Welcome to lesson 47, Math Marbles. And in this lesson, you're gonna learn how to calculate taxes and the final price. Super important in the real world where you'll do this all the time. So here are the three things your teacher is gonna look for to show that you know how to do this skill. Can you apply strategies to these for some problems? We wanna see that we can calculate the tax of a sale or the tip. So these are two different things, tax and tip. And finally, can we calculate the final price after adding the tax and tip to the cost. Here's our first problem for today. The district ordered 30 team uniforms and received an invoice, that's a bill, for $2,992.50. The school district does not have to pay the 8% sales tax on the purchase. How much did the school district save on the $2,992.50 purchase. In other words, they didn't have to pay taxes, so how much did they save by not paying taxes? So what we really wanna know is find out what is 8% of our bill. That's what we wanna know, and that will tell us how much we saved. We know two things. We know how much the uniforms cost, and we know the part we're trying to find what is 8% of that number. And our plan is gonna to be to use math to organize our facts by setting up two ratios. 8 out of 100 is equal to a number out of 2,992 and 50. And we're going to cross multiply to find out what that number is. Okay, I've set up our ratio table to figure out what is 8% of our total purchase. That's the part we're saving. So 8% is our first ratio, 8 out of 100. And we want to know that part out of the total cost. So when I cross multiply, I get 100N is equal to eight times our total purchase. And for that, we'll use our calculator. Eight times $2,992.50. And we're gonna get $23,936. And we're gonna divide both sides by 100. And even though I have my calculator, I won't actually need it for this. So I can just show you what I'm mentally doing. I talked about it before. When I want to divide a number by 10, I take this decimal in the back. If I move it one time to the left, that's the same as dividing by 10. If I move it two times, it's the same as dividing by 10 times 10 or 100. So the taxes are equal to $239.36. Now, if you're still unsure, that's okay. We test things out until we truly believe them. Divided by 100, there you go, $239.36. Um, and that's the same amount I had by just moving the decimal over. So I'm gonna have that in my final answer. Where's this box this? The school saved $239.36 on the purchase. There you go, Math Marvels hit pause so you can jot this down into your notes. Here's our second problem and it's based on something I did last week. Sarah loves her lobster and took her nieces and nephews to dinner as a surprise. After dessert, she estimated the bill would be about $120 plus tax. Sales tax in New York City is 8.875%. How much is the bill plus tax? Everyone had a great time and the service was great, so she decided to give the waitress a 20% tip. How much did she tip the waitress? So here's what we wanna know. How much are the tax and bill for this meal. So we're gonna figure out two separate things. And I'm gonna go a little further and figure out, well, what is the total cost of dinner with the bill, tax, and tip? Again, this is real life math because when I go out places, I always wanna know that if I have enough money, so I'm constantly estimating and trying to calculate what the total cost of a bill is. We know that dinner is about $120, so we're gonna use that information. We know what the tax is and we know the tip is 20% of the bill. 
and we know the tax is 8.875% of the bill. So we're gonna calculate those separately. That means we're gonna use math twice. We're gonna use math to find the tax using these two ratios. And then we're gonna use math again to find the tip using these two ratios. And we're gonna cross multiply to figure out what those two amounts are. And finally, just to go a little further of our work, we're going to add the tax, the tip, and the bill to figure out the total cost of the meal. Hit pause so you can jot this down into your notes before we try it out. We're all set up. We're gonna figure out the tax and tip separately and then find the final cost. That's our plan. So I have our two ratio tables colored very differently. All right, so we'll start with the first one. We wanna know the tax. 8.875% out of 100. And we know the cost of dinner is $120. And in the second situation, it's a 20% tip out of 100. And again, dinner was $120. Just looking at them, I know which one I'd wanna figure out first. It'd probably be the one on the right. But let's do the tough job first and just get it out of the way. So we have 100N is equal to 120 times eight and 875 thousandths. Definitely using a calculator for this. And we get 1,065. So 100N is equal to 1,065. Great. And we're gonna divide both sides by 100. Remember I've done this multiple times by just moving the decimal over to the left, to the left. So just moved it two times. So our tax, is equal to $10.65. If you're not sure, you do have the calculator. If you want to see 1065 divided by 100, there you go, $10.65. And we're going to do the same thing for the tip this time. We have 100N is equal to 20 times. 120 that one's a little easier to do so 100 n is equal to 24 and two zeros 2400 we're going to divide by 100 again and n is equal to 24 dollars so again all i did was move my decimal one two places over to get 24 dollars but if you're still not confident you can use your calculator and you can see it is $24. Awesome, awesome. Now we're gonna figure out the final cost and that means putting all three parts together. The bill, here's our bill, plus the tax, 1065, so let's add the little zeros there, plus our tip, $24. I wanna make sure, and this is a, a weird place that kids sometimes make mistakes, it's just those decimals. So just make sure you're lining them all up. So we have 65 cents, four dollars, five, and once I get 154 dollars and 65 cents. Now, because I have a calculator, I do want to check. So I'm going to put 120 plus 10 dollars and 65 cents plus 24 dollars, just to verify 154 dollars and 65 cents. So that's my final cost. Let's put that in. The final cost. of dinner with tip $24 and tax $10.64 is $154.65. So you can hit pause and jot this down. Remember, when we do tax and tip, we must do them separately. They are both separate percentages of our service. In this case, it was just our dinner bill, $120, and then we add all parts together. You cannot 
add the tax and tip percentages together and try to do it all in one step. That's how mistakes are made. So we'll have a lot more practice with this, especially in real life as you get older and go out to more meals with friends and family. You will constantly have to learn about tax and tip. And now you have a quick, easy way to be able to do it. Sixth graders, which is fantastic. And I will see you in the next lesson.